Michelle Kaufman. Helping you let the green into your life. Hi, I'm Michelle Kaufman. I'm an architect specializing in thoughtful, sustainable design. One key part to sustainability is reusing materials, especially those that would typically end up in the landfill. So in my house, I always try to think, how could I reuse this material before I actually throw it away? And one thing is with chopsticks. My husband and I love Chinese food, we love sushi, so we end up using a lot of chopsticks and typically throw them away when we're done. But then I got to thinking, maybe there's a better use for these. So what I'm gonna show today is how we can actually make a birdhouse or a bird feeder using used chopsticks. And all we need to do to do this is to have chopsticks, which hopefully you clean first, and glue. And with the glue, you want it to be non-toxic exterior glue. Since we're doing a birdhouse that's gonna go outside, we wanna make sure it lasts. So it's best for me, I prefer to have a container that I actually keep the glue in and make it kind of dipping glue. Then to start this, we take three chopsticks and we're gonna make a triangle with these, having the outer corners all connect, about like this. Then I like to use another chopstick to do as the dipping glue. So dip it into the glue and then actually use that on the corners to attach the sticks to one another. Then we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep layering chopsticks on top. And on the two sides, we're actually gonna taper in. And we're gonna taper in just the thickness of the wood. Because, we're gonna do that because we're gonna want the end to actually be the size of the, um, the opening for the birds in the birdhouse. So we keep going in, we taper the two sides, but this edge, we're actually gonna stack the chopsticks right on top of one another because that's gonna end up being the floor for the house. So putting the glue on the corners, laying the chopstick down, we're gonna keep going. Tapering on the sides, coming in just the thickness of the chopsticks. So we keep doing that until we end up, here's one that we've already made, keep going until we end up where the taper means the opening is about an inch and a half by about an inch and a half. This then becomes the opening into the birdhouse. So what we've built is actually half of it, one of the two modules. So the second one is identical. We do the exact same thing. And after they've dried, then since we know that the triangle was built the same way, then we know they're gonna match. So they can match up, you put them together and we have the birdhouse. To connect them, we actually use string or you can also use wire and weave it through up at the top. So this will use to create a connection, but then it also allows us to hang the birdhouse from a tree or maybe from a rafter on your house and it makes a really lovely birdhouse. There are other options as well. We can use this same technique and make it a bird feeder. What we did with this is we actually put inside a pine cone that has peanut butter that's been rolled on it and then we roll it in bird seed or you could just buy one of these to be a little easier. And then we hang it outside and it's a bird feeder. You can also see with this one that we did the shapes of the opening for the birds a little bit differently which really gives this beautiful sense of curvature on the end. So there's really wonderful ways you can customize these. You can really uh, think about different creative forms that you want to make. So it's a beautiful way to reuse materials. We actually have instructions for this and more details on our blog at blog.michellekaufman.com. Thanks so much for watching.